Yo, what's good, you too? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We're heading back into ACC play. And we're going to round out the season in this episode and at least get to the conference tournament. So in the first game, we are going up against Duke. And you know who they have, Zion Williamson. So we get to see the young phenom right in action we are on the road in this game so now here is Grayson Colley starting it out with the drive to the lane you don't really see that from the three-point shooter so here he is lined up at three and he starts out hot with our first five points so here is Pavlik from the free throw line he misses here's Jamil Aziz running in transition nobody's there to stop him and not even Zion Williamson can try to get there to take that charge and we are at an early 8-8 game. Here is Jamil Aziz with another outside shot and he, he and Grayson Colley have 10 of the first of 11. Now here is Zion Williamson from deep. He's getting going with the three. You don't really see that too much from him in real life and here in transition, he's going up for an alley-oop and you can see the athleticism already as he misses that one, but man, was he up there. So now getting going here is Grayson Colley again. And he's got seven points early on. And Zion Williamson answers on the other end. He hits the mid-ranger and he makes it a 15-up game. So now at a 17-point game here, uh, they do get an easy lay-in. But now we fast forward to a 19-21 game. And there is Bailey, their point guard. Remember, we don't have all of the rosters we have kind of the main stars we have rj barrett's out there cam reddish is out there and zion williamson's obviously out there so we don't have all of the guys but here Braden sexton getting going with the three but this time he misses one but there is lionel shorts on the rebound and we're actually hanging in this game here in the first half but here is williamson on the other end he's answering with a three and duke takes the two-point lead as we head into six minutes left in the first half so here's Braden Sexton. Nobody's there to guard him, and he goes all the way to the lane. I don't know what kind of defense that was, but we are now down by two towards the end of the first half, and there is Juice Harrison getting going as Braden Sexton and Harrison. They're kind of the one-two punch at point guard. I really like them so far in this uh, legacy mode. So here is Juice on the outside. He's taking an outside two, but there's Jamal Patterson on the rebound. He lays it up. And it's 37-37. We're hanging around. So now here is Cam Reddish with the mid-ranger. He's getting that one to go, and he's taking the early four-point lead for Duke. So here is Zion driving to the lane. We do strip him on that one. We have been holding him in check a little bit, but honestly just getting some hands in on him as he drives in. But there is Juice Harrison. He's hitting the three. He's got a couple threes off the bench. Here is Lee posting up there's Harrison again with another corner three he hits that one and that's three threes off the bench and a big nine points so now as time winds, winds down here to end the first half here is Lee with the outside shot he gets it to go but take a look they didn't count it Bruh. so now we go into halftime with the two-point deficit and that probably should have been a tie game right there I don't know it looked like he got that one out off but Look at Duke, they shot 62% in the first half. We definitely have to step up on defense. Aziz has 13 points, Harrison has nine off the bench, and Kali has seven. And then on Duke's side, Cam Reddish has nine, and Zion Williamson has 10 to lead the way for Duke. So here we go to start the second half. Here is Aziz taking Zion Williamson to the hole. No, he's gonna dish it out to Grayson Kali, and he's hitting the three. And he's been shooting the ball really, really well towards the end of this season. So now here's Aziz driving to the lane. He's getting fouled by Pollock, and he's actually been opening up his scoring a little bit. He's been shooting outside, driving the lane, and the versatility's really been there, honestly, since AJ Starr has been hurt. So now here is Zion Williamson with the deep mid-range, kind of a fadeaway that time. He's got 15 off of that shot, and now they take the two-point lead. Here in a 53 to 51 game, here is Pollock. He's landed up and in, and Duke takes the four point lead. 
So now a couple possessions later here is Zion on the deep three. He's getting going from deep now. He's got 18. So now here's Duke up nine points. Here's Pollock on the inside. And now that lead is stretched out to double digits. So now here is Duke. This time Bailey taking it in in traffic. And he's got 11 at point guard. And he's making it another double digit lead. But now we bring in some size here. Here's Matthew Leonidas, Michael Leonidas on the lay-in that time and here playing some defense there with the full court press and that's going to be a lay-in by Grayson College so we're still in this game still down by seven but here RJ Barrett is taking it to the lane and he's getting that one to go so now Duke stretches this lead to double digits as Zion Williamson hits the deep two there to put him up by about 11 points and here he has 20 points in this game and RJ Barrett here he is driving down the baseline. He's throwing that one down. Wow, take another look at that dunk. As he cocked that one way back. And that just shows the difference. I mean, they have the athleticism. There is Zion with the deep two. And he's getting that one to go. Making it a 17-point lead. As here we are on offense, down 17. It's turning the ball over. Here's R.J. Barrett in transition with Zion Williamson. He's going to lay that one up and in. And just like that, that lead grows to 19 as we try to get some points here to end the game. And there is Aziz actually hitting a three. And he's got 23 points in this game. But Duke, is there's just too much talent. They end up running us to death. I mean, they just pretty much dominated in every category. We actually stayed in the game, though. But Zion Williamson had 24 points in this one. He actually shot three of five from three. It's definitely not something you see from him in real life, taking a lot of threes, but he had a pretty good game. 24 points. Jamila Aziz had 23, so that's a pretty good game from him. And he is a freshman, remember. He's doing this as a freshman. So we got him for three more years after this one. Grayson Colley actually has a pretty good game, too. He shot the ball well. He went two of two from deep. And uh, we actually lose that one by 19. But then we move on to the next game. We actually go again to Louisville, and we actually lose this one as well. Jamil Aziz actually didn't get the start in this one. He actually came off the bench. He got 11. But as you can see, Horton on the other side, he had 17 and 10. So then we move on to the second to last game. We're going up against Clemson, but we lose again. So now can we at least get to 11 wins? on the season in this final game versus Boston College. As you can see, Falkering had 17 and eight in that game. So now here on the road for the last game of the season versus ranked Boston College. And here we go. Can we get a victory and at least make it a season that, you know, we can't be, you know, disappointed in because we're obviously, it's our first year in the ACC going up against teams that are way better than us. So here we go to start this game out. There's a nice pass from Braden Sexton inside to Jamal Patterson, and he's getting the layup to go. But here on the inside, here's McGrain. He gets that one, but gets it his own rebound off the glass, and he lays it up and in and for the early two-point lead. But here's Jamil Aziz answering on the other end with the three, and he's got three points. He, he's, he didn't start in this game either. And you can see here he is in the post getting his own rebound, missing the tip. But pump fake, getting back inside and laying it up and in. And like I said, Aziz, I'm trying to get some other guys some playing time too. He is a young guy as well. So obviously I'm still going to play him the amount of minutes. But I just wanted to get some other guys some looks in the starting lineup as, you know, we don't have anything to lose in this season. We just want to get some reps and see what these guys can do. So now in a 13-16 deficit, here is a pass out to Juice Harrison off the bench. And he's getting that one to go. And that's a 16-up game off of that three. So here's Jamil Aziz in the post, missing the turnaround J. But here he is playing some D, getting his own steal and laying it up and in. And he takes the two-point lead. So now we're back down by three, running in transition this time. Here's a pass inside to Juice Harrison, getting that one to go in transition. And I think I may have found a theme here. I mean, this team can kind of run a little bit. You see Giordano in transition. We get the layup to go as well so now still down by three here is george at point guard passing it into mcgraney that's a big center right there and he lays it in for the five point lead 
So now getting towards the end of the first quarter, here's Aziz putting a move on the defender, getting inside. He's got nine points here to end this first half. As here's Braden Sexton pushing it up the floor. He tries to lay it up and in, but he can't get that one to go. And we actually cut this deficit down to just three points. And we go into halftime 42 to 39. And I'm not mad at all at that first half. I mean, we shot the ball pretty well, but we got to really work on our defense. I mean, Duke shot 62% at half. Boston College shooting 58% at half. But look at this. Juice Harrison has 16 points off the bench. And that's a good sign. Aziz has nine points as well. And we expect that from him. I'm actually kind of disappointed I don't have AJ Starr back because I would love to see him off the bench. So now Jamal Patterson starts out the second half with a three, but here off of a steal, here's Jamil Aziz driving the lane in transition, and he's getting that layup to go, and we take the two-point lead. So here is Aziz passing it out to Jamal Patterson, the sophomore, passing it around to Giordano. He takes the three, and he's going to make that one, and that's going to be a five-point lead here to start the second half. So now here is Aziz in the post, this time making his way inside the paint. And laying that one up and in, he's got an array of moves on offense. So here is Loving Good passing it out to Jamal Patterson. Patterson shoots the corner three, and he makes it a five-point game with 10 minutes left here in the second half. So things are looking good until Tabs hits that deep three, and he makes it a three-point game. But passing it up to Jamal Patterson, he's shooting another three, and he's getting that one to go. And Jamal Patterson shooting the ball pretty well as here he is on offense, driving the lane. He's getting that one to go. He's got 17 in this game. So this is his best game so far this year as we give up a corner three that time. Two tabs as they take the one-point lead. So now in transition, here is a pass up to Sexton. Sexton's going to drive to the lane, and the senior is going to make that layup in his final regular season game of his career. But now, pushing it up one more time to Sexton, passing it to the corner to Aziz. He's going to take the three, and he's going to make it, and he's got 18 of his own. So now we're up by five points. Here's Braden Sexton drawing the foul, getting to the lane as he drives and gets both free throws. So here, in transition once again, here's Loving Good getting fouled. So we're getting a bunch of points on the free throw stripe as here is Jamal Patterson trying to drive the lane, but he passes it out to Aziz. His favorite shot, that deep mid-ranger, he can hit that with consistency. So now up 12 in the game, here is Aziz in the ISO, and here he is driving to the lane, and wow. I don't know what's gotten into Aziz, but he's turning into a scoring machine as he gets another steal and shoots the DJ, and he hits that one, and that shot is going to propel us to a 16-point victory. Wow, 89-73. to 73. That's the way to end the season there as Jamil Aziz had 24 points. And you know what? He and Jamal Patterson both could have won the players of the game. I mean, they both had a really, really good game. Even Juice Harrison had 16 in the first half. He ends up not even scoring in the second half. But you see Jamal Patterson at 17, but Aziz had 24 points off the bench. What a good game by him. He shot 10 of 18, and that's actually pretty efficient as Jamal Patterson shot 3 of 8 from 3 as well. I really like what I see from this team down the stretch as, you know, we're going into the conference tournament. And I don't know what seed we're going to have, but it's probably going to be a low seed, either second or last or last. I don't know. But that's going to do it for this episode, man. Let me know what you guys think of this team. I mean, this is, I don't, I don't know. I'm actually pretty impressed because, you know, we're obviously going up against teams that are ranked a lot higher than us, that are a lot better than us, and we're holding our own. I mean, Duke, we were in the game for pretty much all the game until the second half, but I'm actually proud of this team. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Next episode will be the conference tournament. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.